Hi, this is Don, and I'm the Old School Fish Guy. Today I want to talk to you about sand. That's why I gave the title I did. <laughs> sand makes a great substrate if you have oh, geophagus, um, some other sand sifters, bottom sifters. Not all bottom dwellers are sand sifters, but it works well for many of them. Fish like coolie loaches love to dive into the sand. They can be funny to watch. They won't do it if you have gravel, at least not as fast. Corydoras like to dig in the sand, and that's why I went to sand, because you know I love Corydoras. And they like to dig in the sand, and I've seen them stick their snout down to their eyeballs into the sand, digging some even a little past their eyeballs, especially if there's tube effects in there. <laughs> but, you know, sand has some dis, dis, uh, oh, what, detractions, some negative aspects. One of them is that if you like to have your aquarium, you know, with river bed where it goes down and down and got a nice low spot, sand tends to fill that in. Now gravel will too, but not as fast as sand. So that's just one aspect of that. Um, <laughs> sand is, is real nice because um, you'll see all the waste sitting on top of the sand so you know when to siphon it, which means often because you can see it and people don't like to see waste sitting on the bottom of their fish tank because no most fish don't eat fish poop no doesn't happen don't expect your corridors to live on that because they ain't going to eat it so sand uh, will display your waste but it'll display your waste <laughs> So you're going to have to clean more often and that brings up another problem. If you use a gravel cleaner and you stick it down into the sand, and here's where, you know, I'm not real good at doing demoing and I'm not real good with a camera, so I just sit here and blather on, but if you stick your gravel cleaner down into the sand, um, sand's going to go up through it more than, much quicker than gravel will. Um, what I recommend is using a really long, deep uh, gravel cleaner and never letting the sand get more, even up to the halfway mark. So you put it down in the sand to turn it up and you get the sand coming up into it and you pull it up about this far off the, you know, a couple of inches out of the water, off the, out of the sand, and let the sand float back down. It stirs up the sand, helps the tank, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, you still need to do the cleaning. You do it a very similar way. Um, just a little, a little more caution or you'll suck all the sand right out of your tank. Um, with that said, one of the reasons why you really need to do that with uh, sand over gravel, they will both develop gas pockets underneath them. Now because sand compacts tighter, um, it's worse. So one of the things I do is I bought a little uh, two-pronged um, barbecue fork. Um, mine's an extendable one. I paid uh, two bucks for it at a dollar store. Go figure. It's a dollar store. How come I didn't pay a dollar? But anyway, um, it's pretty cheap. And uh, what I do is I, I extend it all the way out, and then I just stick the two prongs down into the sand, and then run it along under the sand for a while. Now if I got plants, I go around them. Maybe I stick it down next to them a couple places. That releases the gas pockets. You don't want those gas pockets building up because when they burst, so to speak, and burst through your sand, it's toxic to the fish. And if you have too much of that, that's bad. Get it while it's small. So you want to make sure and stir up your sand when you're doing your bottom cleaning. Uh, use something else, even just a, a long knife, to go through and, and uh, just slice through the, the sand. You don't have to get every square inch, but get, get a lot of it. And that will actually help keep your sand uh, safer for your, 
your fish. Um, the other thing that really helps with sand, you know, <laughs> back in the old school days when I was still young, I hated snails. I fought against snails nonstop. Um, what convinced me that snails aren't so bad is sand. Uh, snails will actually get down in the sand and they're digging through it. They're stirring it up too and they're cleaning it out. Uh, snails can be good. Anyway, that's my take on sand. I like it because my corridors like it. I use gravel for a few things. But uh, sand has its pluses. Sand has its minuses. You know what the best thing to do is figure out which way you're going to have more fun when you're taking care of your fish. Bye.